We have 6,200 plants that got brought for the orchid festival. Within those 3,200 are orchids, and you have mainly Phalaenopsis orchids and Cymbidiums. Those orchids have been bred uh, for many years, and we have a varied choice of colors and shapes for our design. So we took inspiration from uh, the native uh, fauna and flora of Cameroon, but also from their huge uh, diversity uh, melting pot of communities. There's over 250 different communities in Cameroon and Sheffries, and they have uh, amazing artwork, uh, beaded uh, artwork. So we took this inspiration of the bead for our necklace of orchids. And also they've got fabric and all those colours, we took that as an inspiration for the palette of colour we use. The series was taken in Bikoka, which is a really a small village, but it's in a forest uh, region. So the region where it's been t the photographs have been taken is actually similar to the region where Q scientists have been doing their research. So um, yeah, so there are also a lot of landscapes in the in the photographs, and some of them blend with the the nature that is found here at the Princess of Wales uh, uh, Conservatory. Really, it's about the, the, you know, in a way, the black presence, uh, you know, in at Kew Gardens and uh, in this conservatory. Uh, there's also a, a soundscape that goes with the, the exhibition. So it's about, you know, the sound from um, our culture, and I really want people to sort of be immersed in the, you know, in the sonic environment that they would get if they were going to Cameroon. Cameroon has about four, just over 400 species of, of wild orchids um, and we've 
know where we are with about 25% of those and they have about the same level of threat as orchids worldwide so there's somewhere between 60 and 70% of them are threatened with extinction in the wild. Orchids in general are, are more threatened than plants on average and depending on the part of the world that we're talking about then the threats can be different. So many orchids in, in Asia for example are collected for traditional medicines. In southern Africa many of them are collected for food. Um, but in places like Cameroon it, the threats are rather different and, and that's largely due to conversion of land for agriculture, destruction of forests and increasingly we're worried about climate change of course. <laughs>